Hello everyone. Welcome to Yashoda Hospital's online segment Know Your Doctor session. The term inflammatory bowel disease is an umbrella term used to describe chronic or long-standing inflammation of your digestive tract. Well, it can be debilitating and causing life-threatening complications. So let's discuss about inflammatory bowel disease. I am Dr. Lakshmi and today we have with us Dr. Ravi Shankar Reddy, Consultant Medical Gastroenterologist from Yashoda Hospitals, Malakpe. Welcome doctor. Yeah, uh, hi. So doctor, can you tell us more about yourself and brief us about your journey in this medical field and what made you choose medical gastroenterology as your speciality? Hi, I am Dr. Ravi Shankar Reddy, Gastroenterologist working for Yashoda Hospitals, Malakpe. I have started my medical journey uh, in 1996 uh, in Usmania Medical College. Uh, from there, I have moved to uh, Gandhi Medical College for my general medicine. And I have done my gastroenterology in GB Panth Hospital, one of the uh, premium institute in uh, India for gastroenterology. So my journey into gastroenterology means I have passioned uh, for gastroenterology in general medicine where I have seen the patients who are, uh, some of them are dying with bleeds, some of them with jaundice. So I thought uh, this is the better branch for me. And the second thing, it is an interventional branch. If you see uh, general medicine, we are treating with the medications, but gastroenterology has both patients treated with medications and you have an intervention like surgeon. Uh, I can uh, share one experience. Uh, I mean, as a medical student, uh, in Usmani Medical College, uh, almost almost 10 percent of the people they will enter into the central institutes means AIMS, PGI, SGPGI. So I also thought and hard work I have taken uh, to enter into the post graduation uh, for the central institute, but I could not make it. So I thought uh, in gastroenterology at least I do uh, in a central institute. Five my hard work and luck favors sometimes. So, on that time, when I have written my exam in gastroenterology, whatever I have taken the book, the same questions appeared in the exam. So, I get through. There are only three seats in uh, gastroenterology in GB Panth. I stood second. So, it's my hard work, luck, favored and uh, I have entered to the gastroenterology. The Indian subcontinent has witnessed a remarkable rise both in prevalence and incidence of IBD. So, you think that's a serious concern? Yeah, uh, now when you are in medical school and general medicine and in also gastroenterology, we were seeing uh, less number of inflammatory bowel diseases in India, but nowadays it has grown very much. If you see that may be due to mainly lifestyle modifications because we see observe the students who are going from here to abroad for higher studies, they are coming with inflammatory bowel diseases. So, environmental factors, food factors may be adding to the genetic factors for the inflammatory bowel diseases. So doctor, now that we know that inflammatory bowel disease is quite common in India as well. So do we know what causes it or what the underlying cause for this could be? Till now, uh, IBD, why it is caused uh, is under investigation though it is a long duration disease. But it may be autoimmune disease where our uh, own cells are destroying our colonic or uh, small intestinal or gastric cells. So there is a hereditary factor associated with it as already mentioned it is the environmental factors and food habits may be lifestyle which adds to the uh, disease of the inflammatory bowel diseases. So doctor you've just mentioned the importance of diet and dealing with stress. So is there any particular type of diet that one can follow to prevent IBD? Till now, uh, there are uh, so many studies going on uh, inflammatory bowel diseases diet, but till now there are no specific diet guidelines uh, worldwide. But most of the times, if you come, any patient comes to us, we'll start uh, controlling the food products like uh, milk products, where they will have the precipitation of the inflammatory bowel disease exacerbations. Though they won't uh, cause the disease or it won't increase if it is in the remission. So once patient is in remission, we will say you can have uh, every uh, diet which is uh, uh, what you are following previously. But 
we need to uh, have more studies to say uh, is there any specific diet which decreases the disease or which causes the disease. So talking about diet, so from gastroenterologist point of view, what is the definition of well balanced diet? Is there any particular type of diet that you would recommend? Diet uh, nowadays what we are saying almost uh, down the line uh, before 20 years or uh, down the line these 20 years there is a uh, significant change in the diet habits. Now we are going to uh, frequently into restaurants we are having high refined foods and uh, smoked foods and uh, increase of alcohol smoking has very much increased when you see our childhood and now we are as an adult. So these are the dietary habits changes now it is happening. Maybe these are the causes of more of the diseases which are coming into gastroenterology. I personally what uh, I say to my patients is uh, they should avoid the foods which are allergic to them. Means when they have the food they know uh, it is causing the problem, it is causing their trouble or they, they are having diarrhea, they are having abdominal discomfort. So I specifically say you are allergic to any medica uh, foods or any food which is causing the problem you can avoid. Otherwise avoid refined foods, avoid alcohol, smoking and have adequate water and um, foods which are having high fiber which uh, maintain your gut very properly because this increases the uh, bacteria which is good bacteria in your intestines. So doctor we just discussed about symptoms. Symptoms like pain or blood in the stool would make anyone run to the hospital. But symptoms like diarrhea, most of them would just sit at home and treat that by themselves. So do we see that quite common in your clinical practice where patients turn up to the hospital or to the doctor pretty late in the disease stage? Yes, uh, because as a doctor also, if a patient comes with first episode of diarrhea, which is of two to three days, days duration, I am also not keen to diagnose as an inflammatory bowel diseases. Usually inflammatory bowel diseases are a recurrent episodes or episodes which are not responding to the medication. It is very difficult sometimes to diagnose a first episode of an inflammatory bowel disease if the patient has only diarrhea. If the patient has continuing abdominal pain, blood in stools, we are, have low tendency to evaluate them for inflammatory bowel diseases. So doctor, on a personal note, is there any particular incidents or any experience which changed the way you look at medical gastroenterology practice? Usually uh, we have uh, five brothers, uh, none of them are doctors, there are uh, three uh, engineers in, uh, in our brothers. So I thought uh, though I am a MBBS, uh, MBIPC student uh, with the CBSC syllabus, I have studied in Jawar Navade Vidyalayas. So I came here uh, into the state syllabus, it was a very difficult task me to enter into the medical field but uh, it took one year but it was comfortable because I have entered into a medical college which is supposed to be the best medical college in uh, AP Telangana at that time that is Usmani Medical College. This is how because there are no doctors in our family so I thought we will have a doctor in the family but it is very difficult but not impossible to enter into the medical college because you need dedication. I used to study almost from 4 o'clock uh, a.m. to 11.30 uh, p.m. towards a day because it was a new subject for me because uh, in CBSC syllabus we see a human uh, anatomies when you come here at that time it was the frog uh, which is in the zoology. So it took some time but uh, it's okay. Uh, it took one year but we have entered into the medical college which is uh, the renowned medical college. So doctor, before we move on to discuss about the treatment options available for IBD, I want to know what is the longest you've seen that a patient went without being diagnosed with IBD? I mean they must have ignored the symptoms for pretty long and they must have come later to you at a stay. Yeah, uh, duration of the symptoms uh, will increase the uh, severity of the disease. Sometimes we have seen three to four years after the symptoms they will be having the recurrent episodes of diarrhea, sometimes blood in stools. Though blood in stools they will be uh, neglecting the diseases and they will come uh, after three to four years for the diagnosis. Once we diagnose the uh, symptoms and the, uh, we have a colonoscopy for diagnosis and biopsy, then uh, we can treat much more better. But patients, at least in Indian subcontinent, we see patients where they come after 5 years also, 
for the diagnosis of the inflammatory bowel disease in spite of they are having the blood in stools. So, uh, for the patients uh, or any general public, any diarrhea with stool or with blood, though you need to rush into the hospital, it is, the, uh, it is not the normal diarrhea, you need to evaluate and uh, treat the uh, symptoms or the, treat the disease perfectly. So, talking about stress, how do you personally deal with stress and how, what is the role of your family in dealing with your busy lifestyle schedule? Yeah, definitely as a doctor, uh, there is a stress. Stress means uh, it is dealing with the lives of the people. That is the main stress. And coming to the family life, uh, uh, my wife is a radiologist. She uh, works uh, for, a, for our clinic and she is also a doctor. So she will have a cushion for me uh, to have a stress reliever. So she knows how the uh, patients behave. So uh, she will be a stress reliever for me. And my parents, though they are not doctors, they know uh, how I have grown uh, from their, uh, my childhood into the medical school, what uh, difficulties I have faced into the medical school and going to the gastroenterology, but the best institute in India. So they will also uh, will be calling me if you are in stress and they will be uh, making me more comfortable. Yeah, uh, definitely uh, for everybody, children are the stress relievers once you go from the work and if you see them smiling or coming them and hugging them then uh, that is the place where uh, we'll get the best stress reliever as the kids so let's talk about the treatment options available for inflammatory bowel disease so what are the latest medications available in the market and when should one consider a surgical option yeah inflammatory bowel diseases most of the times medically if they are the patient is compliant and uh, listen to the doctor and they will come to uh, for the medical management in early times as I mentioned uh, if they have a blood in stools they have diagnosed early in the diagnosis and uh, the treatment options now available worldwide all that are available in our Ishoda hospital and are in India so uh, they will be treated with medically very rarely our patients goes for surgical managements so you mean to say that these patients should take these medications for lifelong or can they stop once their symptoms subside? No, no. IBD is a lifelong disease. Though it will be in remission. Remission means the symptoms are very less. The problem in, uh, in our country, sometimes once the uh, symptoms comes down, na, uh, they start decreasing the medications by their own or they will stop, they will come after two years saying that doctor I have stopped these medications, I have taken some alternate medications and now it has exaggerated. For my patients, I am saying take the medications, look it as a diabetes or hypertension, take everyday medication and it will be most of the times means maybe in 190 percent of the times the patients which are relieved with the symptoms with the treatment don't uh, stop medications by your own because IBD is a, now is a defined disease and has definitive treatment. So doctor before ending this episode what message you would like to give to the general public out there as far as gut health is concerned? Nowadays uh, diet patterns are changed uh, so avoid uh, having outside foods regularly because nowadays it is very difficult to avoid uh, every time but avoid as much as possible and have adequate water and high fiber foods. Take adequate sleep. Sleep is very important for our uh, hormonal uh, balances. So inflammatory bowel disease is a serious health condition with potential complications but fortunately more medical options available and more on the horizon. We've been talking with Dr. Ravi Shankar, medical gastroenterologist about IBD. So this brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you doctor for joining us. It was lovely talking to you. Thank you.